Just to give you an idea how much snow we're dealing with, this was two snowfalls over two days. Howdy ho guys and gals, welcome back to the Den of Tools. Yep, we got snow, you saw it there. We got, was that six, eight inches or so? Uh, we're up here in Montana, about 4,500 feet up in the Rockies. And uh, it's the last week of October. Before Halloween, we're going to have a white Halloween. So we're going to have some fun with that. But anyway, Ego sent us this, this pair of snowblowers here earlier this year. We've been sitting on them, uh, kind of teasing them here and there. But we're going to put them through the test. Now, we didn't get as much snow as I was hoping. It was spread over two days. So uh, we only got like three to four inches one day, three to four inches the next day. So uh, we only used the smaller of the two because I figured if the smaller one can handle it, the bigger one's just going to blow it even further. So we're going we're gonna to hold him back for a second video once we get the real snow to hit this is just you know this is just the appetizer here so let's jump into it we're going to show you uh day one over at the shop and then day two is going to be doing the street at our house in fact i think the missus is going to jump in and do it because she's been super excited about playing with this as well so let's let's show you how it works oh, oh, easy boys easy <laughs> We got snow. Now they were telling us it was gonna be between five and 15 inches. Six to 12 was the best guess. It's also supposed to go for, start last uh, last night, this morning, run through halfway to uh, through tomorrow. So we're only about a third of the way into it. So we're gonna save the big boy here for hopefully the deep snow tomorrow morning. We're gonna start off with the lightweight here. Now the difference between these two, well, you can look at size, physical size. You can look at the wheels there. Controls are mostly the same. We got them loaded up, batteries in them. Let's get these all set here. All right, put that right there. Okay, we turn it on. That one's on, that one's on. We got headlights on both of them. Hard to see if right here. We got headlights up here, headlights down there, but this is the thing. Okay, this, look at this. With this, I can come in here and I can change. Oh, I got un got to unlock it back. Look at that. Look how easy that is. That is so smooth. I don't see how this one could be any easier. Oh, wait. It's completely electric. That is too much fun. Should be illegal. And we got hand warmers on both. I got gloves, but we're going to check them out. Let's start off with the little guy here. Now, one thing I will point out, we have lowered the shoes down there because we got gravel out here. We don't want to be spitting gravel. All right, drive, drive and auger. All right, let's see here. There's our drive, okay? Left turn, right turn, and then the auger is with this one. All right, we got the speed. We're going to sit on, that's reverse. We went on, okay, that's reverse. There we go. Low, is that right? That's, there we go, low forward. All right, still good pace, all right? We're going to keep this blowing forward for right now. And actually, you know what? We're going to blow a little of an angle. Then we're going straight up. There we go, right a little bit right right there i guess that's good enough all right and this is the auger speed here we're on turbo let's go medium for yeah we'll go medium for now all right all right augers engaged Now we get a little bit of gravel. It's gonna happen. All right. We're gonna go hard right now. All right, let's do a little preview here so you can see what we're working with. There's where we've gone through. Now, I don't have it. Because of those shoes, it's not going all the way down. And we set that on purpose because 
we got gravel and we'll just be spitting gravel. So we're gonna go straight down the center here. Deepest path. Let's get a good 45 on that. We're gonna spit, set the auger up a little bit harder. All right. All right, that's on medium. We're on turbo now. Let's get the high speed. Oh, that's fast. Oh my gosh. I'm actually gonna take that down a notch there. I don't think we know you go full turbo on it. All right, maybe a little bit more. Since I'm going directly into it. You know, the wind's going, so let's not fight the wind. Now I can just break, one hand turn. Look at that. All right. Let's head back. Who is it's cold out. Up, oh, fighting the wind again. We're gonna hard shoot this straight to the left. Auger engage. Left it out overnight just to try and give it the hardest test we can. Batteries have been inside, but we're gonna brush this sucker off and see if it still works. Load up some batteries here. All right. There's battery one. Here's battery two. Same batteries from yesterday. I haven't charged them or anything. Still at full, full power. Let's see if it turns on. We got the green light. We'll turn on the hand warmers. Don't really need the headlights right now, so we'll turn those off. All 
auger starts up, let's see what she can do. I think we have a bit more rocks than I was expecting. I should have a beep 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 sound. Beep 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 beep. I think I am done. All right, so what do you think of it? It is actually really fun. The uh, hand warmers are awesome. Whoever was in charge of that, good job. Um, it really is warm. It's uh, super ergonomic. It's easy to use. Have you ever used a snowblower before? once or twice not a ton the little electric ones we had yeah. yeah never something this big no and it's um it's really easy to handle and it's really pretty intuitive what do you say the temperature is do you remember looking it's like you mean outside yeah it's about 10. yeah and you're sitting there without gloves i've got gloves on and she has no gloves and she's just yeah. fine he has offered just to be clear. i have repeatedly <laughs> but it's really nice and warm and for those of you who might have to do this at night, here they are in front of us. I know you can't really see anything. You can see the glow on them. Let me turn on the lights on this one. 
Let's see here where there they are. Oh, wow. That, that lights up the night. So that's off. On. Oh, that's bright. So that's just the front lights. So I can do front lights. Well, that's all the lights. Okay, that's front headlights, front lights, all that. That's just the front. That's off. All just the front off. Now on the smaller one, that is... That's all of them. That's just the front. And that's off. So there's all front off. All front off. All righty. Well, there you go. You saw it in action. Real quick, I'm going to cover all the high points on the 28-inch one. That's the one you saw in the garage, but we didn't use it in this video. But I just want to cover it real quick. Just, uh, what do you got here? We got... Uh, two 12 amp hour batteries. There's a lot of juice in this sucker. A 28 inch clearing width, steel auger, 21 inch clearing height, throw snow 60 feet, two in one electronic chute, uh, 200 degree range that's pivoted and everything. Uh, heated hand grips. Boy, the heated hand grips are nice. Trigger controlled steering assist, kind of like a, I think like tank treads, the way it pivots. Uh, variable speed forward and reverse, clears a 32 car driveway of eight inches of snow, medium density snow. I like that they call that out. They're not saying there's all like slight, super fluffy snow. They're saying medium density. Uh, and then uh, we're looking for LED lights, 16 by five inch tires, IPX4. Now IPX4 means that uh, the IP is, is, is basically dirt and water resistance. So X means now four is gonna be, uh, I think it's like light rain. So I'll put a graphic up on the screen if I can remember. Uh, but it, it's like you're not going to go submarining with this thing. But it, if it gets hit with the water, it's not going to care. As you saw, we left one out overnight. Uh, it got snowed on. It was like, I don't care. Five-year warranty on the tool and the battery. Now, the 24-inch, the only difference is it comes with two 10-amp batteries rather than 4-amp. By the way, how much juice did it use? Doing, uh, I ended up doing half of our alley here. And then we did the entire street we live on. And it used one bar. What? Um, anyway, I think if anything, they're underestimating how much these things could do. Uh, 24 inch clearing with 20 inch height, manual shoot operation. 20, I thought that the, the, with the manual, it'd be like stiffer. It's honestly, to me, I kind of like it better because the electric one's so fast, man. You just, it goes, wow. I keep thinking it's going to break or something. Uh, anyway, as if you now, as far as there's the, uh, the 24 inch, this is the SNT. 2416 that's the four inch one and then the snt 2807 28 24 the, the 2807 is the two stage or is the 28 inch now uh we we showed i think we got all the the details covered on this number one brand rate of course i'm a huge fan of ego peak power technology it means it's getting all the juice out there there's the controls on this sucker it, it's got it does all of it man i could not believe how nice these things are nobody sits there going you know, gee, I, I hope it snows, but, uh, you know, we got, we all, if you're an adult, we all got responsibilities and stuff, but, oh my gosh, this just makes it kind of fun, brings out the kid in you. Oh, uh, you know, we got, talked about the auger and stuff, and yeah, it just did it all. Now, if you want to buy one of these, now let's talk about that. Uh, where to buy? So, uh, options for the 24-inch are Acme Tools, and they're currently it's $1,800 over at Acme. That's on sale right now down from 1888 and that's going to get you the two battery kit it's going to get you the double charger double chargers are nice i've been using those those things are great and it gets you the the system there now uh ace has a whole bunch of stuff they're looking at 1800 dollars on the 24 so the same price they're matching over at ace let's see lowe's also has it lowe's has the uh, the the it's 1800 at lowe's also uh, now, as whether they're going to have it at each store, you have to check local availability. Now, when it comes to the 28-inch, it's a bit pricier. You're looking at $2,200 over at Ace. Uh, Lowe's does not have this one in stock. Uh, now, also, I should point out that Amazon normally carries Ego Power Tools, but they didn't have the 24-inch. Uh, they do have the 28. We'll get to that in a second. This one is at Acme Tools. They've got the it for twenty two hundred dollars in stock, and Amazon's got it for twenty seven hundred. Oh, excuse me, <laughs> now, a little little pricey there, Amazon. You never know though, with Black Friday and stuff coming around, you never know what's going to happen with Amazon pricing. So, 
may want to uh, bookmark that just to see if it comes back around. Anyway, we had fun with this one, uh, putting it through its paces. I can't say enough about it. I highly give us our, our, our thumbs up approval for this one. I It's the the best, nicest snowblower I ever used. My wife, when she got done with it, she was tickled pink. And then she's like, you know what? And it's so quiet. And that's, you know, with all the other lawn equipment, outdoor power equipment we've used, when other people have tried it and stuff, they always walk away with, wow, it did the job it was going to do. And it was super quiet and easy to use. Uh, I know a lot of you older timers are like, oh, I want my, my dyno juice. And that's great. I mean, don't get me wrong. I've Look, I've got a gas snowblower back here that we're testing out. But I'll be honest, I, using that once, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm going to go back to electric. It, it's it's cool. I love, you know, the gas toys and stuff like that. And um, But there's just no, there's no comparing the ease of use to electric. That's all there is to it. Anyway, let me know what you think about down below. Is this something you would be considered using for your home? Are you prepared for winter? What snowblower are you rocking? Let me know down in the comments. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on. <laughs>